unless someone ups and does something, and soon. All we're gonna wake up to is the smell of rotten flesh. You'll never feel alone again. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 MMORPGs. For this list, we limited ourselves to one game per series. We ranked the titles based on quality of play and replay value. Number 10, RuneScape. Guinness Book of World Records recognized this browser game as the world's largest free MMORPG, and it's easy to see why. Easy to access from any web browser and requiring very little processing power, players travel through a massive world on foot, in ships, or via magical spells. There is no goal in the game, so it's up to players to decide their own fate. Number 9, Lineage 2. <laughs> This title's predecessor was one of the largest MMORPGs when it was released, but the sequel managed to dwarf it. You'll love exploring the three massive kingdoms as one of six races. The intense siege warfare and in-depth leveling system ensure that you won't run out of things to do, and best of all, the game recently went free to play if you're curious to check it out. Number 8, Guild Wars 2. Today, I plan to venture beyond the gates of the city and see the world for myself. This title distinguished itself from other games in the genre at the time, including the original, by featuring a storyline which responded to players' actions. My success positively impacts my crew, who then gratefully assist me. Your goal is to reunite the adventuring guild, Destiny's Edge, to fight the undead Elder Dragons. The giant weapons and deadly spell effects make that feat more doable. Unlike the class-based play of normal MMORPGs, you'll act as multiple classes combined into one. This is my story. Number 7. Final Fantasy XIV – A Realm Reborn Square Enix brought the classic RPG series into the current generation of consoles with this title, and, well, it didn't always run as smooth. The original version of FF14 was so bad that Square Enix literally scrapped the game and started again. Rather glad they did though, because you'll love discovering the beautiful landscapes as you fight to save the world from the Garlean Empire. Number 6, Lord of the Rings Online. The One Ring has revealed itself. Middle-earth has been explored in different forms, but with the success of WoW, the one format everyone was surely waiting for was an MMO. Fight! Even if you weren't a fan of the series before the title, you'll love banding together with other citizens of Middle-earth to fight the evil Nazgul, orcs, and other enemies. Oh, gosh! Of course, if you need a break from fighting, you can enjoy professions like weapons building and woodworking. You must unite the free peoples of Eriador and inspire them to stand against Sauron. Number 5. Dark Age of Camelot. Enter Albion and discover the fabled lands of Arthur. You can't let a little thing like a king dying get you bent out of shape. In this game, the death of King Arthur sets off a war between Albion, Hibernia, and Midgard. In the years since the death of King Arthur, the fragile peace between these realms has been shattered. You'll choose which realm you want to fight for, and your realm determines which of the game's many races you can play as. Amazing PvP and siege mechanics garnered the game enormous amounts of devoted fans. Now you can join this epic struggle and lead your realm to victory. Number 4, EverQuest. But alas, ignorance and innocence go hand in hand. Don't let the blocky graphics fool you. Ultima Online may have been one of the genre's biggest pioneers, but EverQuest was the first MMO to put you in a fully 3D world to explore. As brave explorers journeyed forth in search of fertile lands on which to build. Huge, complex, deep, and punishing, EverQuest was not for the casual player. But that didn't stop a legion of devoted subscribers from EverQuesting the heck out of all 20 expansions. It is the land of EverQuest. Number three. Star Wars The Old Republic. You radiate power, Lord, I bow before you. Whether you associate with the Jedi or you feel like you're more of a Sith type, this game's got what you need. How did you learn that? The Force told me so. 
Taking a page out of Bioware's Mass Effect series, the morality spectrum allows you to pursue your own goals in fully voiced conversations, a big deal in an MMO. I know you brought the red stain scar, and I must say, I am pleased. Aside from the usual open adventure, you can also take part in PvP dogfights in space. Be strong, be merciless, and may the Force be with you. Number two, EVE Online. I got hustles inbound. Here's a game that emphasizes massive in MMORPG. The 7,500 star systems made for a seemingly limitless galaxy filled with wormholes, asteroid belts, moons, and more. Honor isn't about making the right choices. It's about dealing with the consequences. Unlike other titles in the genre, EVE functions as a single universe instead of multiple realms, so you'll never run out of players to interact with. Battleships, Andre. Time's up. We gotta go. Negative. Just hold them off. I'm almost through. Fun fact, in the city of Reykjavik, Iceland, there's now a monument dedicated to this game, with all the active players' names etched into the base. There's been a change of plans, Vanguard. Orbital strike launched. Before we get to our number one, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. Number one, World of Warcraft. I guess there was never any doubt. The most successful MMO of all time resulted from Blizzard applying their signature perfection over innovation style to the EverQuest model. At least we don't sparkle. By slowly introducing elements to new players and removing a lot of the more frustrating genre tropes, Warcraft hooked millions of subscribers and hasn't let go. And thanks in part to South Park, it allowed for machinima-style short films to receive mainstream recognition. Do you agree with our list? It about to chew off more than it can bite. What's your favorite world to get lost in? For more massive top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Excuse me, could I just, um, sniff your backside for a sec? Oh.